Hey guys and welcome back to another Off The Cuff. Uh, today we will be talking about refugees. Uh, we in the UK have had many issues with migrants uh, over the last 25 years. Uh, we have had a lot of emergencies, uh, especially recently coming over the, uh, the channel. Uh, we're getting more and more record numbers and it's having a pretty, pretty drastic effect. Uh, anybody that lives in the UK that has more than one brain cell uh, will tell you that there has been a, a vast change in the UK. And uh, yeah, with the, the recent withdrawal from Afghanistan is going to do, uh, is going to have an effect. Uh, we have seen numbers coming out over the last 24 hours. Um, Kamal Harris has said 100,000 going to America a year. Uh, but then AOC said that that was not enough. Uh, and, and that's quite amusing because uh, I feel like maybe they've had some sort of instruction list go out amongst the regressive uh, politicians because uh, I've seen that echoed in at least two other countries, including my own, um, where we were told that we are going to have 20,000 a year. We're going to start off with an immediate evacuation of 5,000 refugees and then we're going to take 20,000 a year. Uh, and we also had some of our regressive politicians saying that that is not enough. And to me, um, I just feel that, you know, I, I don't understand how people can't see what's going on. So we're being told to take refugees. A refugee is somebody that comes while it's dangerous and goes back while it's safe. Uh, so why would you want to go halfway around the world? And why would you go through 15 different safe uh, and prosperous countries? Uh, if, if you have to go back anyway, like why, why would you do that? And we all know why, it's economic uh, migration or economic refugees, economic refuge. Uh, so yeah, and we saw today Sohail Shaheen, who is the Taliban spokesman. Uh, he was interviewed by the possibly uh, the most far left. Uh, although I, I hate the whole left and right thing nowadays because it just doesn't mean anything. But I would say the, the sort of most the most traditional left-wing establishment uh, news channel here, which is Sky News, which might be to some people's surprise, but if you watch them, you'll see uh, that the pattern is certain. Uh, and she spoke to Sohail Shaheen, and this is what he said. Why are people so desperate to leave the country that they are, are, are taking their life into their hands to climb onto the outside of an aircraft? Why they announced that everyone should come and now, today, uh, because otherwise uh, there will be no plane and uh, without any passport, any documents, uh, they are, will be taken to, uh, to the Western countries and also to USA. Everyone wants to leave uh, Afghanistan because Afghanistan is a poor country. So, uh, and uh, economically a poor country. Many people are living here uh, uh, up to 70 percent of the people are living under poverty line because of the corrupt uh, Kabul administration. So uh, they, they, when the, they saw the opportunity, the opportunity and uh, the reports and rumors that they should, uh, they, if they want uh, to go abroad, uh, they, this is uh, their uh, chance. So everyone. Uh, they uh, accumulated a bigger deer, uh, gathered deer they wanted, everyone wants. Uh, so. so I think the responsibility uh, is, is uh, with them, rest with them. Hmm, interesting. Um, and I have to say, I agree. So if you couldn't understand what he was saying, because obviously he has quite a thick accent, uh, he was essentially saying that the people are leaving uh, because this is the perfect time to abuse the West's uh, trust and generosity. Uh, and during these times like these, they are not doing background checks and they are not checking for passports and things like that. So now is the time uh, to go. And he was saying that it's not his problem. It's not his fault. Uh, you know, he can't control who's being taken out. Uh, and there is some truth in that. Uh, you know, he obviously can't control who's going to sneak onto a plane or sneak on, sneak out of the country at the moment, I imagine. Uh, but he's also just a spokesman. And really, like, the, it's not the point what they're doing. You know, the, it's, it's up to you whether you allow someone in your house. You know, it's not up to some randomer down the road that decides they want to come into your house 
to be stopped by someone else. Uh, but yeah, so this will obviously uh, go on and on. We will see the same virtue signalers uh, who don't suffer the problems that we have seen from migration. Quick edit here, I just thought I'd throw this in because coincidentally it popped up almost at the same time I was recording this and yeah, talks to what I am talking about at the time. And yeah, if you live in Worcestershire in the UK, you will be receiving some of the first. Uh, so we obviously have the interpreters and the people that are linked to the Western forces, that's fine. I actually don't see too much of a problem with that. But I do think people should just bear in mind the fact that if we really only had 500 troops-ish, over there for the last few years how many interpreters would you have for 500 people what 10 20 30 not like the, the first batch is 5000 how does that make how do we have 5000 interpreters for 500 troops so yeah obviously they had to put the picture in just to make people think like oh well, they must have all been people that helped us no gotta leave yourself some room this uh, this bishop, who I'm sure lives in a really tough neighbourhood that it's already difficult to survive in, and I'm sure that neighbourhood looks exactly like it did 40 years ago, uh, he is saying that we shouldn't just be taking the people that helped us, we should be taking anybody. Uh, yeah, so that's a great idea, and I'm glad that people in positions like him, or his, uh, has completely lost his mind. Enjoy who don't live in the neighbourhoods that have been completely wrecked and uh, ravaged by migration, we will see these people uh, demanding that the poorest and most hard done by in our Western societies must suffer some more so that they can signal vir that they can virtue signal more uh, on Twitter. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you think. Let me know if you think that we should be taking them. Let me know if you think that we should take more. Let me know if you think that Maybe it would be better if they were housed or, you know, if they were given refuge in uh, places nearer to them, uh, as we did in our time of need. Uh, you know, we, we, we stayed in our country, obviously, and just went further afield uh, into the more, more uh, sparsely populated areas. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and I will see you soon. Winston stopped writing, partly because he was suffering from cramp. He did not know what had made him pour out this stream of rubbish.